my 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 favorite and one of my favorite because as you were saying there's not only not only one favorite uh, cartoon series uh, when I was young, I used to see a manga that was called Messenger. I don't know how to say it in English. Yeah, yeah but Messenger was a, a robot. It's kind of similar of, as Voltron. Do you remember Voltron? Yeah. Yeah. And there's a reboot of Voltron. Recently, they, they, they showcase on the market. And, and it was, man. It blows my mind. I was six years old, and since that time, I started to see a lot of cartoons and create my own stories. And as you, as many of you, I have uh, all of my notebooks were filled of, of, of fleet books, and I, I used to draw soccer scenes, and it was kind of cool. And then I started to, to do more illustration. Then I, I found this guy, Leonardo da Vinci. So man, I fell in love with painting and I started to paint as well at the beginning with only, only pencil, but then I, I try oil, I try acrylics, and I try all of, of the, like, almost like the same process as you, you know? And, and then I met the Lord, which was really iconic in my life. I, I was like 20 years ago. Yeah, I was I was in my early 20s and I met the Lord. Right now, now I'm 42, and and man, two months later, I realized I I understood what I was made for, and I was made not only to do cartoons, but to take cartoons as part of my call. Each on each of everyone has a call. And it's very important for you to pursue that call. Scott was saying uh, something very, very, very profound and unique. To do cartoons, to do animation, to do whatever is just a medium. It's just a step into the, the, into, into the pursuedness of your call. I don't know if it's good to say, sorry my English if you don't understand, if you don't understand but I will try to do my best. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now I have two translators, two Colombian guys, so it is awesome. <laughs> so man, then I realized two months later that, that I received the, the Lord, that, I, that the Lord touches my heart, the Lord touches my heart in a very, very dramatic way. I was also at an atheist uh, previous, and I was engaged with drugs and all of that stuff that you normally do in your, in your early 20s. But then the Lord, in one week, the Lord changed the vision of my life. And, and then I realized, okay, I have this, and there's not, not too much uh, co uh, creative content in the, in the Christianity, especially for children. My passion is to be father. I love to be the, the, the father. I have two children, Simone and Juanita. Simone is six, Juanita is 11. And there's, and, and there's nothing that I really enjoy more than being a father. It's absolutely awesome. So I decided to go in the pursuit of create animation that really empowers them and challenge them and let them know their, their purpose in their life as well. Because when you see, for example, Phineas and Ferb, it's kind of funny, but uh, well, there's not too much to, to understand your purpose through that, you know? Or Bob Esponja. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Patricia is not a really good example of faith. <laughs> or, yeah, Patrick. Yeah. But, but it, it's a reality. And I don't know how many of you have decided to do and to go in pursuit of creating whatever type of content, and you, you're going to face that reality once you are out. When you're going to be out, what are you going to do? Work. Work. Yeah, work. In Colombia, what is happening is that the majority of the, of the people that, that leaves the school they have this tremendous and dramatic reality of really don't know what to do, you know? And you're all about to, to reach that, believe me. <laughs>
sorry, but it's true, <laughs> you know? And it's, it's, I think it's the, it's the perfect time for you to answer, to, to ask yourself, well, Lord, I'm here. Why? Why do you create me? How can I do this uh, to serve you and to, be, to go beyond the, the content itself? You could, you could see and you could have fun with, with Bob Sponha, you could have fun with Phoenix and Ferb, you could enjoy it uh, like you yesterday with the Lego movie. <laughs> but what else? What else? What can we do? And for that reason, I definitely wanted to create uh, not only cartoon, but uh, be, being like, like uh, the father, or not the father, but not at all, but like adopt this profession. The marketplace is around, animation field is absolutely amazing. You, have, you could only have uh, one email to exchange, and uh, man, you were saying that, that you like Rugrats? Well, I met the, the creative director of, of, of Klaski and Supo, and, and we have been working, the guy is working right now with Saban, Saban, the Power Rangers company, mm -hmm. and, and we have been creating production design for them. And I have uh, like the contact with him, and so it's, it's good. It's easy to contact you with the, the BP of Nickelodeon. It's easy to contact you. I have a couple of friends working in, uh, that has a studio in, in, in Chennai, in India, and man, it's, it's quite easy and it's quite cheaper also to hire different studio from around the globe and produce one cool idea, you know? And, and the greater challenge is to understand that this has a really strong component that could change the, the, the children's mind, that, that could uh, maybe define their purpose somehow. So with that in mind, it will be necessary, absolutely necessary to, to have creators with the same spirit that could interact and that could collaborate in the development of those type of content. Is that clear? Mm -hmm.